Ladies and gentlemen, Arj Barker. Thank you very much. Good to be here. So yeah, I was in this store the other day and I, I said, uh, how much is this shampoo? And the guy just punched me in the face. It's like, man, that's the last time I shop at Price Attack. <laughs> Uh, I like Australia and I like your new, your new tourism slogan. So where the bloody hell are ya? I mean, I get it. It's very Australian, but I'm not sure if people in, in other countries, it might, might come off just a tiny bit aggressive, you know what I mean? If people sitting at home, turn on the TV. So where the bloody hell are ya? Like, whoa. Take it easy, Australia. I never even said I was going there, man. Australia? Have you been drinking? 11 in the morning. <laughs> My country's kind of aggressive, but we can afford to be because the United States has the most advanced military in the world. And nobody can ever learn our military secrets unless they have like the Discovery Channel or something. <laughs> then you just t turn it on, they're pretty much giving, st giving information away all the time. Just in conclusion, the only way to destroy this tank is to cut this wire right here. <laughs> and place explosives there. We'll be right back with more things civilians shouldn't know. <laughs> I can't stand on the news because they not only give away information, they give away ideas, stuff the terrorists might not have even thought of yet because they're trying to be dramatic, you know, and, and, and be exciting on the news. And they do it all the time. They'll be like, since 9-11, airport security's up 300%. However, the nation's railway system remains extremely vulnerable. <laughs> oh, really? It does? Well, then how about if you shut the fuck up, man? <laughs> it's the on the hill, yay, Ray! Yay, hey, whatever! I don't speak pig Latin, all right? And if I offended any pig Latinos, I apologize. <laughs> but they shouldn't be giving away free ideas. They should be discouraging people. They should be like, tonight on the 10 o'clock news, fucking with a moving train. Mm-mm. <laughs> Bad idea, pal. Difficult and dangerous. Why experts say an angry letter might be a better idea. <laughs> because we need positivity, you know? We, that's what we need right now. You know, if, if everyone in the world just spent a little more time thinking about other people instead of themselves, the world could be changed overnight. It could be the smallest thing. Like, here's something I do that's kind of cool. Sometimes when I'm taking a leak, and there's a little bit of shit caked on the side of the bowl, even though it's not mine, I'll try to piss it off. I mean, personally, I don't even care if it stays there. But it's not about me, it's about thinking about someone else. And you might say, yeah, Arch, but what if it's caked on there pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, it might be. But at the very least, I can loosen it up a little bit. <laughs> and the next guy can come through and finish the job. And that's called positivity. And if you want to find out more about that, visit my nonprofit organizational website, pissthishitoff.com.au. I'm Arch Barker. Good night. Thank you.